Hello everyone. Uh, today I'll be ranking all the Soaring Summit levels in Sackboy A Big Adventure. I am Misin. Let's go. I'll not be including co-op levels because first of all, I will never get the chance to play those levels. Because they are, well, well you'll see why, I mean. I really have nobody to play with. And I won't play alone, so I'm gonna exclude all co-op levels in the Storm Sim. And there is only one. I'll also be excluding the Midnight Trials, because of course they're just trials. The number 10 on the list has to be the first level, the big adventure. This is number 10 on the list. Mostly because it's the first level, and it's you know, it doesn't really have anything. I mean, it's, it means only the first level, and it also doesn't have a secret room. I gotta tell you that for sure. Okay, so number nine on the list will be Ice Cave Dash. I find this well, it's. Not really, I mean, it's better than, than the first level, which is, of course, the first level. It's been spectacular about the first level, but this one is just a challenge. I mean, it could, it could have been a really good night, really nice challenge, but even then, it just. I don't know. It didn't really feel like a level. This is left out of the picture, you know what I mean? I think I should have included the list, but you know. Anyways, yeah. This is level, this is 9 on the list. Ice Cave Dash. Alright, so, level 8 in this list will be Have You Heard? So this level is, is 8 on the list. Because first of all, I mean, while it's really a fun, colorful level, and it's quite different, it's quite original. I mean, what would be such a pain? Because mostly people will find hurting Hurting types of objectives to be kind of a, a little a pain in the butt, you know? Like, it's just, they're kind of annoying. You know, they're, they're so easy to hurt, but then you just, you just kind of have to put the effort to actually hurt all of them. This level is pretty fun. There's nothing really unique about this level. Okay, so number seven on the list has to be Upper Grabs. Now, this level, Upper Grabs. It's level 7. I mean, number 7. <laughs> and number 7 for a reason, okay? Alright. I just felt skip. I'll just play through this real quick. This level is... It's number 7 because... I mean, I know every level in, in this game can be fun. This level is pretty fun of, as well, but then... This is the level design of this... This and this make this feel a little kind of bland. I mean, how do I even... The only thing that's really good about this level up for grabs is the rockets! There's just one thing, one spot in the level. We've got the bridge too, but then I really can't, so I really can't grasp the full feel for this level. Can't really put in any, any, any notable or memorable kind of theme. That's why this level is number seven. Alright, so number six on this list is Cold Feet. All Cold Feet is number six. Okay, let me try again. Cold Feet is number six because, well, it's a really fun level that you try to climb up the, oh, the mountain. Mount formation of this level. This type of design here, this it's it's ice level, right? But then you you've got a level that's better than this. That I'll, I'll also list it later. Thank you later. This is also a pretty cool level. And it's number six for a reason. The soundtrack is also also nice. Number five on this list will be key success. Yes, we are getting to the top 5 levels in the Soaring Summit. In the, in the ranked list. 
your access is number 5, which is the middle list. First of all, because this level is really changed the pace of the entire of this entire game, kind of. Or maybe even the whole region itself. The whole area. It, it's different. It got these weird, weird sea creature like balls that can trap you and you can throw them around. That's pretty cool. And they are used as the as the main key to some of the objectives, while you also still have to avoid them. With the way they just collect it just it's just really satisfying to go over them and, and dodge them. And you also have to find keys, which is also number second reason why this is number five. Is you have to go find keys. We've never done that before. Keys really make this game and make every level level interesting that has this feature. It really makes the level interesting because you have to look for them. Slide this level is number five. All right. All right. Number four on this level on this level will be list will be blowing off steam. Number four, yes. Number four in this list. One last thing. This is the best train level in the entire game. It's number four for a reason. It's unlike any, any of the other levels in this entire area, maybe in the entire game. It's not be the only train level in this game. But basically in this level. You first grab this kind of hanging thing attached to this rolling pulley. Okay. And you go on a train, and that's basically the whole level. This train. And you basically have to the enemies that go on the train. And here they come. There is also these bomb screws that you have to. You have to, you have to like uh, hit them and then they'll just not explode, right? If you don't, you don't hit them, it's a challenge. Kinda. You just gotta be fast. They'll just explode. You don't want them to explode on the train, you know what I mean? Alright. Got the usual enemies. And this is this level is quite challenging, and challenges are always make the level interesting. They always make the level interesting, yeah. So you have to try to go through this and collect everything while the train's still moving, which makes this much more fun and really thrilling. I kind of like this level. It's really good. And it's number four. Now just remember that I am not including the secret rooms. Secret rooms are a different thing. I might do a, a, a video specifically for the secret rooms, ranking all the secret rooms. Okay, so... Alright, number three in this list is, is the boss level. Having a blast. And this is higher than the, than the... than the other ice level, which is Cold Feet. This is also ice theme. This is higher. This is number three. This level has a really ominous feel to it. And there's also Vex trying to insult you. You get these bombs and you throw out the crates. There are also sliding sections in this game which make it, make it quite fun. Number 3. This, this, this is a really big boss fight. A lot of boss level fights. We really ran kind of stuff, don't they? And this is probably the only one. Only boss level. Well, there's a lot of danger in this level, you gotta really watch yourself, or else you, you don't even know what's gonna happen to you, okay? Just watch yourself. But yeah! Alright, getting to our top two. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's been almost there. Almost there, guys. The number two on this list is Ready Yeti Go! Yes, this is... It's really, this is one of the... When I get to this level, got this level, I was like, whoa! Okay? The level design in this level is amazing. Okay. Basically, you have these Yetis rolling around and you have to avoid them, or you will get hurt. You also go up these, these rolling pipes, you roll into the pipes, you roll up. That's also a really good thing, really fun. But what makes this level really good is what I'm about to show you right now. This thing over here! A snow globe! 
No fun. Yeah, let's really change the pace. Really fun. Yes, and get a circle to land the enemies. It's like you're playing pinball. I wish you were actually pinball. I don't even know if there's actually a pinball level in this game. I haven't finished the whole game, but this level is just... Wow. The level design is also really amazing. Ah, I right. But yeah, you know, you know, you... <laughs> there's also this section in the game. Let me get out of this thing real quick. Ah, uh, no. This game has... This is the best ice level game, I have to admit. Really challenging. No group really fits it. For an ice level, that is. And yetis. Yetis are our ice creatures who live in snow. So, you know, really best ice level. Now it's in. And of course, at the end of this level, there's a. You, you run away from a you big abdominal snowman yeti. Which also makes this all the more worth for an ice level. Number two. That's number two. Oh, yeah. You know, you know number one has to be this, right? As the Trouble in Paradise, this is my absolutely favorite Storm Summit level. This probably will be in my top 5 for all levels combined that I will not make right now. I can't make because I haven't played the whole game. This level is just too fun. It's too fun. It's too amazing. It's too excellent. What can I say? And it features one of the most popular songs that you could hear on the radio on Funk. This level is so, so fun. Did I say that already? But yeah. Basically, I was just going through this level and rhythm, and when I got to this level, I was like, well, now this game is really switching it up, you know? But yeah, this is my number one level. You just gotta play to see what the heck I'm talking about. Anyway, guys, that is my... All the all the levels you could play in Storm Summit except for the co-op level and the night and the trials, all of them ranked. Thank you for watching. The next uh ranked well I mean ranked video will be for the next major area. Which is Claus Canopy. I'm also I'm probably thinking of making the best all the best secret rooms ranked. All the secret rooms ranked in Storm Summit. Although, I don't know. It's a jackpot. I mean, should I, should I rank all the secrets? All the secret rooms? Because they're basically... They're like one thing, you know? They're just one... It's like, so just, just... It's just like one room, okay? And there could be a lot of rooms. How can I... Judge only a few, you know? That's why it's better to, like, say like a top five, you know, secret room. Right. Anyways, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. See you guys in the next one. Yeah.